Welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and my friends with AllFreeKnitting.com, and I would like to present you on how to make a brim on a hat without doubling over your knitted fabric. This brim is going to be in the garter stitch pattern. You can use any loom or hat size for this, and you'll just want to continue until you reach the length that you want for your brim. We're going to use the infant size loom today. This is a 24 peg plastic loom and you can use this technique on anything. Start by casting on and then your preferred way if you want to e-wrap cast on or put in a crochet cast on. For the first stitch and the whole complete first row we're going to purl. To purl, remember you put the yarn on the bottom, grab that yarn and pull it up, pull off the old loop, put on the new. Continue this first full row all the way around in the purl and come back. Once you've finished your first row of purl, we're going to continue on in the knit stitch. I'm going to do the flat knit stitch. So we're going to put our working yarn on the bottom on the top. I'm sorry, put the working yarn on the top and pull the bottom loop over the top and continue going all the way around. This is a faster way to do a knit stitch. Continue until you finish this row. You've completed your second row, and after you've completed that row of knit stitches, that's what's called your first garter ridge. You're going to continue alternating one row of purl and one row of knit and make four garter ridges. This should make enough of a brim for you for a baby hat. Thanks for tuning in to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, with my friends with allfreeknitting.com. Happy looming!